हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो एज द एंड सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स आर नियरिंग यू मे बी वंडरिंग हाउ टू सॉल्व द एंड सेमेस्टर सेवेंटी मार्क्स पेपर एंड स्कोर मैक्सिमम मार्क्स आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी सो एज टू इंक्रीज यर टोटल पर्सेंटाइल एंड टू फिट इन द प्लेसमेंट क्राइटेरिया द नेक्स्ट ईयर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द थर्ड ईयर मार्क्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बी ई एज इट विल इम्प्रूव यर ओवरऑल अकेडमिक्स लेट सी हाउ टू सॉल्व द टर्बो मशीनरी पेपर विच इज़ कंसिडर्ड एज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पेपर इन ऑल ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पीपल हार्डली पास टर्बो इन देयर फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट एंड द पीपल हु डू ऑलमोस्ट पास ऑन द पासिंग मार्क्स दैट इज फोर्टी आई माई सेल्फ पास विद फोर्टी टू मार्क्स इन द एंड सेमेस्टर एंड ट्वेंटी वन मार्क्स इन द एंड सेमेस्टर सो माई टोटल वॉज अराउंड सिक्सटी फाइव टू सिक्सटी एट लेट सी हाउ आई सॉल्व द पेपर द फर्स्ट पेपर इज डिसम्बर सिक्सटीन For, let's start with the last question because the last three units are for fifty marks. You have higher chances of solving the last three numericals first and scoring maximum marks rather than solving the first one. But do not neglect the first two numericals because they will give you at least ten or twelve marks, which are crucial for passing. That is the twenty-eight marks minimum criteria. From my observation of previous three papers, out of seventy marks, at least minimum thirty-seven. to 40 marks theory should be present in the paper which is easy passing and the remaining 20 to 30 marks are numericals which you have to solve on your own or you have to at least attempt it to get half marks for each numerical now in this current paper you can see question number 10 was represent and explain the process involved in axial flow compressor on hs diagram now if i suggest you or if you take my advice do not leave any theory in your book unread you never know what theory may come in your paper for how much marks and you may regret it not learning it do not leave any theory if you want to pass turbo machinery because you may pass turbo machinery based on only theory and not solving even one numerical properly do not leave the theory so let's count the theory marks 6 marks for the theory in the last question or 8 marks for the theory in the ninth question you may solve whichever is possible let's take eighth or seventh question the term surging and choking appears in most of the papers and almost repeatedly in every backlog paper it is a very simple concept do remember it and write it down properly in the paper it was for six marks or in this particular question that is the eighth question there was 10 marks theory what is slip factor and pre whirl do not skip any theory asked in the previous papers because they are repeated most of the time no new theory is asked generally so jumping to question 5 and 6 you again see 10 marks theory in question 5th and 10 marks theory in question 6th so that totals to 10 plus if you consider this 10 that is 20 Twenty and six. That is twenty-six marks. Theory was present in the last three questions out of fifty marks. So you see, theory has almost equal weightage as numerical in the last three units. Now jumping to first two units. Let's start with the first question. I repeat, do not leave belt and wheel numericals. They are very very simple, and they almost appear for six to eight marks, which will give you full marks if you properly attempt them. So six and four should give you ten. or 6 and 4 should give you 10 marks full if you do it properly if not you can attempt 4 marks theory and at least try to solve the numerical you may get 2 marks for the diagram question number 3 and question number 4 degree of reaction and explain the meaning of pure reaction 4 marks theory and a kaplan turbine the kaplan turbine numericals are very simple you can solve them on your own totally or you can go for the fourth question which has parson turbine parson turbine is relatively harder than kaplan turbine so i suggest you go with kaplan turbine and also try to write something or derive something about the reaction turbine so you may get at least 2 marks for that and 5 to 4 marks for the kaplan turbine so in short you will be getting 28 plus 10 plus let's assume 8 marks so that should around total 40 42 marks theory easy theory in the turbo machinery from this theory part from 42 marks you may expect 30 32 marks easily and solving just one numerical out of the whole paper 
after that you can pass easily turbo machinery from my general observation and how i pass turbo machinery let's see the next paper and let's analyze it this is the next paper let's start with the first question the pelton wheel so this is not the pelton wheel this is the first chapter of your turbo machinery reaction turbine i guess and this is the theory question again question number 2 was kaplan turbine and theory question kaplan turbine is almost repeated in all the papers if not in in semester it will be asked in the in semester for sure if not kaplan there may be francis turbine but one of them is always asked and it is very simple please practice them properly so that you may pass and your chances of passing turbo in the first attempt is higher so we can consider 10 marks theory for the second question now it was asked what is cavitation and how it can be prevented for 4 marks very easy you can write it on your own or question number 4 was 10 marks theory pass on reaction turbine and explain the various type of draft tubes in case you don't know the various types of draft tubes draw some diagram which you remember from your turbo book because in the, ex the examiner has 1.5 minute to check the whole answer sheet he may not even consider looking at your diagram twice or thrice he may look at it once and assume it's correct and you may be granted 4 marks in the above question that is 4a if in case you don't know any diagram please draw some graph discharge versus head the relative graphs of your particular subject turbo please draw some graphs let him know that you have studied from a good reference book or from some good sources which shows your depth of the knowledge and he may grant you the marks out of generosity so this was 10 marks theory it accounts to 20 marks total theory as of now let's see question number 5th was for 8 marks specific speed pretty simple you can derive it from your textbook and centrifugal pump are always very easy you can practice it and it is very easy to solve the centrifugal pump question number 6th was explain effect of blade angle on discharge as i tell you the theory which appears in the turbo paper is very easy and fairly simple the theory we faced was very difficult and tough for our paper and i think that might be the criteria to lower the passing marks as of now the theory is very easy and centrifugal pump is again there in the last paper slip and slip factor was present and again in this paper slip and slip factor is present so the theory is repeated if you observe properly write a short note on fan blower that is question number 8 so you may see for how many marks theory is provided in all the papers surging and choking is repeated in the last previous question paper it was repeated and the axial flow compressor the question, the numericals in the last two units are fairly difficult and you may find prob problems solving them properly i suggest you go with the theory in the first 1 one, one and a half hour max 1 hour and try solving all the theory after that you will have ample time to think over the numericals which you can present which you can solve or you can copy from your neighbor or the person sitting in front of you or the person sitting in back of you carry sheets draw diagrams do anything just pass turbo machinery in the first attempt let's see the third paper this is the third paper let's start from the first question 10 marks straight theory no issue solving it the second question was again inner and outer diameter that is the first question that is the first chapter of your turbo machinery book compare for francis and kaplan turbine i am telling you do not leave the kaplan and francis turbine numerical and theory it is very important and effective in the question paper question number 3 was classification of potter turbine question number 4 was parson turbine i don't think you should be having a problem solving these in case you don't remember any numerical or any diagram from your book draw some graph of draw any graph or any diagram representing something related to your subject it is very helpful in passing from my personal point of view and my personal experience next was question number 4a again 10 marks theory so you see question number 1 and question number 4 that is 20 marks were for theory out of these 20 marks one can easily score 12 to 13 marks no problem question number 5 was priming and priming and cavitation 
in the last two papers cavitation was repeated and in this particular paper priming and cavitation both are repeated no problem solving it let's see what was question number 6 theory explain derive an expression of minimum starting speed of centrifugal pump no problem solving it again surging and choking is repeated in almost all the papers and slip coefficient pressure coefficient is repeated the construction and working of an axial flow compressor is pretty simple please practice it properly very properly and make sure you are well first with the diagram the velocity triangles and all the terms used in the axial flow compressor do not leave any diagram or any technical term which you may lose marks question number 10 was stalling in axial flow compressor and losses as well as 8 marks again theory so 16 marks theory was in the last question 4 marks theory was in the 8th question and 2020 20 marks so you see 40 45 marks theory was present in this particular turbo paper so that's luck that's sheer luck that people are getting 40 45 marks theory one can easily pass and score 28 marks in theory theory only do solve at least one or two numerical to higher your chances of solving the turbo paper in the first attempt do not leave any numerical unsolved at least write the given diagram and try to solve any one bit of it even the answer may be wrong but you may get marks for your step from my personal experience i solved all the theory that is with the option with proper diagram i was given the pelton wheel in my first question i didn't know the diagram I drew three graphs which had no relevance with the question and still I passed turbo machinery with flying colors. So this is my grade of solving turbo machinery paper. The numericals for centrifugal pump are very 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 simple. For the Kaplan turbine they are very simple. You can solve them. Apart from this question number 9 and 8 they are pretty difficult to solve in the first glance but regular practice and understanding will lead you to success definitely. This is how you solve a turbo machinery paper by focusing on the theory which is repeated most of the time by reading all the theory in your book and solving numericals which you think you may solve in the examination. If you are not confident about something do not attempt it and waste your time. So this is it for today. I will take your leave. I hope to see you in the next video.